Welcome back, boys. And today, we'll be talking about one of the most terrifying enemies that you face in Risk of Rain 2, the Void Reaver. Compared to many of the enemies in Risk of Rain 2, the behavior of the Void Reaver as an enemy in conjunction with the survivors and you as a player is very interesting. The Void Reaver itself is usually not encountered until later in your run or at higher time frames as the player by that time is extremely powerful or has enough items to one-shot most of the regular enemies. But even so, the Void Reaver itself is still an immense threat, able to one-shot the player and easily decimate your run without much effort, detaining you and ending your life. But moving along to the lore associated with the Void Reaver, it gives us much more insight into the Void Reaver's behavior and its role as an enemy in the Risk of Rain universe and on Petragora 5. I saw something last night on my post. A giant crab. It came out of thin air and started tapping along the perimeter with one of its forelegs, like it was checking for an opening. It checked a few meters at a time and then disappeared again and again. So I figured out its pattern. I waited for it, where it would appear next. My rifle was aimed at empty space, and then suddenly the empty space became a target, but I couldn't pull the trigger. It turned to look straight at me, and I was paralyzed. It wasn't fear, it was something else. It was talking into my brain. The words it used weren't any language I knew, but it compelled me to freeze. The experience wasn't something I can fully describe with words. I couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't even reach for the radio. I couldn't turn to look away. While my head was ringing, it resumed its routine. I could only stand and watch. It finished its check and then returned its attention to me. As though I were an afterthought. I could feel it take something from me, but I can't remember what it was. And then it left. My guess is that it got whatever it wanted, because it hasn't been back since. Something is still wrong with my head. I can't even seem to work up the power to speak. Should I even tell anyone? Is knowing somehow worse? And what about all the other times I heard the same sound before I ever came to this awful place? After reading this, it like expands a lot of what we know or what we didn't know about the Void Reaver. Basically, we know the Void Reaver's natural habitat is the Void Fields. But other than that, we didn't know too much about it till after this. So, due to the survivor's experience with the Void Reaver, we can tell that it has the ability to influence the minds of other creatures. And to even take information or memories or abilities from them, which is quite terrifying in the least. But other than that, this also makes the Void Reaver as an enemy somewhat of an apex predator. To have an ability that's strong enough to debilitate, to steal information, to take abilities away from your prey would make you nigh unstoppable. But also another piece of information to take into account is the fact that the Void Reaper itself was scouting the survivor's camp for information, so it's highly intelligent. And we don't know what information it sought or why it was doing such, but it took the information or found the information it wanted and it left. Other than that, the other piece of information related to the Void Reaver, which is most likely the most important piece of information, is when you are killed by a Void Reaver or the implosion that they shoot out when they see you. It says, you have been detained, await your sentence at the end of the time. Or they also have name here, the name of your player or character has vanished without a trace. This is very interesting because like in the void fields where Acrid or Acrid, as you guys keep <laughs> telling me, has been detained. Suppose it's a place without time or outside of time, which gives the implication that the Void Reavers can travel in and outside of time. And their ability to detain you is something a jailer would do that would keep you trapped and detained. But for what? For what purpose would they do this? 
This piece of information also expands and makes the ending of Riskarine 2 more complex because when you defeat Mithrix and you are escaping the imploding moon, the Void Reavers try to detain you. And when you escape the planet in the final cutscene, the planet doesn't seem to explode or implode as it says it does. It seems to teleport to another location as if it never existed in the first place. And this brings another question to light. Did the Void Reavers have some relationship with Mithrix? What was their purpose? But now that we know, they can steal information so very easily from their prey. They can take abilities away from those that simply stare at them with sonic waves and they are able to exist outside of time. Overall, the Void Reaver is a terrifying entity and something I would never want to meet in real life. But let me know your thoughts and theories, guys, on it. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be back with some more lore next week and also some more awesome games that are upcoming. Like, sub, share, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe.